Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create, save, and export your very own custom color grading LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what is a LUT anyway? A LUT is basically just a file of data that tells whatever editing program that can use it to take one point or color on your photo and video and turn it into a different point or color by adding or manipulating in a certain way. So many different softwares and programs can use LUTs like Photoshop and Premiere Pro to edit photos and videos. And if we're working specifically in Premiere Pro, you can find your whole color grading windows and panels in the Lumetri Color panel on the right hand side. You can also see it under Window, Lumetri Color, or even go into the Color tab to see all of your scopes and histograms. But basically, if we open up the Creative tab in the Lumetri Color panel, you see this drop down menu where you can apply a different look, which uses a LUT file. So by default, you should have some Fuji and Kodak film look presets. You also see in my menu, I have all these JO custom LUTs that I've created. These are my own that are available on my website, 21 different cinematic looks that I've created over the years. But I wanna show you how you can create and export your own custom looks in this tutorial. And let's remember that whenever we're working on a clip in the Lumetri Color panel, we can go through each one of these tabs and add our own adjustments and corrections. I actually have a full separate tutorial on color correcting and color grading in Adobe Premiere, which you should check out on my channel. But basically, if you go through, you can add adjustments to exposure, contrast, um, you can open up the creative section and add things like, you know, shadow tints and highlight tints, maybe a little bit of blue and yellow action there. You can open up the curves adjustment tool, which is also another very powerful color adjustment, which is available in many different editing softwares. But basically how to read this line is the bottom left corner represents the shadows, the top right represents the white points. So if I were to pull the highlights down, you see things get darker. If I were to pull the highlights up, the highlights get brighter. I can pull the, highlight, the shadows down and the shadows get darker, which adds a bit of contrast. You can also adjust each color channel individually. So if you know a little bit about additive color theory, you know red, green, and blue make up all of the colors. So if you were to do something like pull reds out of the midtones, then you'll get a more bluish feel. And you can kind of read what's going on with these histograms and scopes on the left-hand side, which also just represent the shadows and highlights and different levels of each color. But you don't need to worry too much about those details. I do have full separate tutorials going in-depth just on the curves adjustment tool or just on every single one of these sliders and points. But basically, once you're familiar with coloring and color grading, you might end up with your own custom look that you've created that you've spent some time on. This one here doesn't look the greatest per se, but let's say I wanted to re recreate this look throughout the whole thing. It's like that contrasted bluish look that I've just created. Well, you could go back to all panels and kind of copy and paste the Lumetri color from one clip to the next and get the same look. You could also save it as a preset, which would work specifically only in Premiere Pro, but a little known option and feature that you have is in the Lumetri Color panel, hit this little three line menu button and you'll open up a variety of different options that are available for you. So if you want to export your LUT, you can export it as a .look or .cube file. The difference between these two files is just different softwares read the two a little bit differently. If you want, you can export as a cube and a look just to be safe. But if you export as a cube, you'll have the options to save this LUT as whatever you want to call it on your desktop. So let me call this one blue contrast one. And if I hit save, I can look over to my desktop and I can see it on my desktop. Now, whenever I go to the creative menu, let's say I'm working on a completely new clip here, I can open up the Lumetri Color tab, drop down that look menu, go to browse, and I can pick out that .cube file and it'll apply it as that exact same LUT. So we have the perfectly consistent and flexible adjustable LUT file for us to apply on whatever we want and from here, I can adjust the intensity, make it stronger or weaker. 
and apply different tweaks and basic correction on top of it for a specific clip by clip adjustment. Keep in mind, you can also highlight the project media bin, go to file, new adjustment layer, and then drag that new adjustment layer over top of multiple clips to apply any Lumetri color adjustments or LUTs over multiple clips at once instead of just applying them clip by clip. Now, if you want it to be automatically preloaded every single time, like how I've preloaded my own 21 pack in here at all times, you can open up your Premiere Pro application. So actually show it wherever it is on your desktop or finder, the actual program, right click it and go to show package contents. And inside the contents, you should find a Lumetri folder. And inside this folder, you should find a LUTs folder and in the creative LUTs folder, you can drop those .cube files in here and they will preload the next time you open up the program. So you can see I've got my preloaded files in there and we're good to go. So what I would suggest that you do if you wanna start creating your own looks is first check around my channel for the keyword color grading. You can find tons of different tutorials on the basics of color correcting, color grading, and what all these different sliders do in depth. You can also find a little bit of older Photoshop tutorials I've made that go in depth on the curves tool and how to manipulate that. And kind of familiarize yourself with this whole Lumetri color panel so you can create your own looks and now you have the tools to export and save them. If you wanna save yourself the time and you're just looking for some cinematic LUTs, check out my website. I do have these 21, which I've spent years creating and tweaking and making sure they look good. So you can use those to speed up your own workflow in video or photo. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Leave a like and reach out to me on social media at Justin Odie Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I love connecting with you guys on there. Follow me to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.